morning, 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 five minute meditators. I hope that you are waking up filled with energy after a beautiful and peaceful, peaceful night's rest. I hope that you are finding yourself applying pressure in your life so that you can become the best person that you need to be. I hope that your lips are expressing gratitude and thanksgiving for another day. I hope that you really are taking time to find yourself. I hope that you are positioning yourself to let things go. I see so much on social media where people are just ruminating over the past and, you know, holding people accountable, which is cool. But if that's the only thing that your life has come to, you're missing out on your present. It's time to let some things go so that you can begin to live. Ready? One, two, three. Deep breath in. And hold. Hold. Hold that breath. It's a few more seconds holding that breath in. And release. Today I will assess myself, apply the pressure, and let go. Today, I will assess myself, apply, apply ooh, the pressure, and let go. I hear so often, you know, people talk about holding um, people accountable for past actions. The truth is, is you can hold them accountable. You can spend your energy being angry and irritated at them. But how is that serving you now? How is that serving your peace now? What point are you proving to yourself now? Ready? One, two, three. Deep breath in. And hold. Hold. Hold that breath. It's a few more seconds holding that breath in. And release. My choice of letting go is applying pressure for me to live. My choice of letting go is applying pressure for me to live. Give yourself permission to live. There's absolutely, and I've been saying this all year and it's still very pre prevalent now, there's absolutely nothing about the past that you can do to change it. The only thing that you can do is learn from it, not carry on the same characteristics and move on. If that means letting people go that are near and dear or you believe to be near and dear, you may have to do that in order to have your peace. Ready? One, two, three. Deep breath in. And hold. Hold. Hold that breath. Just a few more seconds holding that breath in. And release. Today, I walk in a space of living. Today, I walk in a space of living. Choosing to live and letting go of things is not saying that you're letting someone off the hook. It's not saying that you're ignoring the things that they've done. But how is that serving you to hold on to it today? Listen, I want you to do a, a check for yourself. If you're battling with diseases like blood pressure, stress, anxiety, um, diabetes and different things like that. I want you to do an assessment and identify what am I holding on to? Do that. Ready? One, two, three. Deep breath in. And hold. Hold. Hold that breath. Just a few more seconds holding that breath in. And release. Today I'm letting go so that I can breathe. Today, I'm letting go so that I can breathe. Have you ever found yourself holding your breath in when certain people walk in the room or their names are mentioned or anything like that? That means that person still has way too much control in your life. You have to choose to let go. You have to choose to let go. You have to choose to let go. They don't deserve to put you in a space of physical um, 
discomfort as far as, you know, well-being. They don't deserve to mentally uh, be a part of your process where your mental wellness is on, on question. They don't deserve to be in a space robbing you of the opportunity to live. Every time that you hold on to that breath because of someone or situation or circumstances is mentioned, they're very much in control of who you are. Let it go. Let it go. I see you. Namaste.